and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about right there. Kendricks comes screaming through the A gap, and that is the ideal scenario that you want out of this play. So what's going on everybody welcome to a new video and this one is going to be me going over a super simple and easy 4-3 under blitz for you guys the play is called Mike Will cross press here's the play art very very similar to crossfire but I've been getting some questions about the 4-3 formation in general and it's kind of been overlooked this year because of how good you know 3-4 odd crossfire is uh, and then the other sets like 3-3-5 odd and dollar there's just not a ton of people running a lot of 4-3 so I thought this would be a good intro blitz to show you guys very simple to set up uh, pretty much like three adjustments at the most and so uh, it's not a hard play to find either on the right side of the screen here you'll see it's in 22 different playbooks uh, so you should not have trouble finding this play pretty much in every 4-3 book that has 4-3 under and so you can go ahead and run any of these books and have access to this play. So the setup is as follows, very, very simple. What I like to do is base a line, spread the D line, and crash them down, and that's literally it. So three adjustments at the base level. I like to go ahead, you're gonna be using this left side linebacker. I like to put bar uh, just in a zone. You don't have to, it's just preference for me. I don't wanna get pulled towards the line of scrimmage at the snap because he's on a blitz angle. And so um, I just go ahead and put him in a zone so I have full control over him at the snap of the ball. And the guy you're trying to get in here, like I said, very similar to Crossfire, you want Kendricks to come in through the A-gap. So I'm going to go ahead and run this against just a shotgun doubles play here from the Patriots. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about right there. Kendricks comes screaming through the A-gap, and that is the ideal scenario that you want out of this play. So pretty much... Uh, what you want to see is you want that defensive tackle to get double teamed by the center and guard and then you want him to occupy the center and so what happens is that right guard oftentimes will have trouble getting over see how he doesn't even get over and slide he actually ends up just double teaming the defensive tackle and that opens up the lane up the middle for Kendrick so that is the ideal scenario and that's what you're trying to get out of this setup so like I said very very simple very easy uh, that's the three step setup literally takes like a half a second even if that to just go ahead base a line spread your line crash them down um some other options that i'll go ahead and show you guys that you can do user wise uh you can user the safeties um i would say uh you could go ahead and you know put bar and like a curl flat and then shade underneath if you want hard flats or over the top if you want cloud so you have that option you can go ahead user the three receiver hook harrison smith here i like to leave the three receiver hook on the field uh, controlled by a CPU defender just because three receiver hooks are very good this year especially when you know shading underneath you can user the other safety if you want to get really aggressive I would not recommend it very often maybe as just a mix-up if you want to get very aggressive on a certain down and distance uh, but you know most of the time I'm using bar every now and then I'll use the safety and then I'm usually never on this guy so that's just kind of the different ways you can set up you can also go ahead and contain your d-line if your opponent is using say in mutt somebody like a michael vick uh, you can go ahead and do that now i will say that this blitz comes in most of the time not every single time it's not a hundred percent sometimes like you saw in the instant replay it is a tight hole to squeeze through for kendricks and right there the guard was able to come over but you got the one-on-one -on -one and got the block shed from the defensive tackle so it's actually pretty rare for the guard to come over like that but what can happen is since it's a tight hole to squeeze through sometimes kendrick's can get caught up with the physics and he'll get tripped up and fall down so that's kind of the main thing you want to watch out for when trying to send this setup in right there he was able to squeeze through but he almost got caught up i'll go ahead and show you that in instant replay as he came through once again right there and you'll see how he kind of it's such a tight squeeze that he rubs up on the center there and kind of gets pulled backwards sometimes depending on how tight of a squeeze it is he can trip and just fall forward and, and lose his balance and then you know he, he's got to stand back up and whatnot and so that's mainly the thing you have to watch for when running this play uh, but like I said very very simple setup comes in most of the time and the other great thing about it is the setup is not like very exotic it's very very simple it doesn't give away the fact that you're blitzing at all you can easily make the rest of your coverages look like this play and so, you know, if you want to run, you know, cover two, cover three, cover six, whatever it is, even other blitzes, you could probably get to look similar to this. And so your opponent won't be able to tell, oh, he like his alignment looks different. He's definitely running, you know, Mike will cross press. Uh, you can definitely disguise it and make it look like everything else. So right there, once again, 
in that time the guard was able to pick it up so like i said not 100 percent guaranteed but it definitely gives your opponent something that they have to think about and it definitely has the potential to come screaming through that a gap very similarly to crossfire blitzes as you see right there so what was that i went it was three for five so 60 percent. i'd probably say it's even a little bit higher than that uh if given a larger sample size so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed Definitely leave a comment. Let me know what other good defenses you guys have found out of the 4-3 formations. Like I said, kind of an overlooked defense this year because of the popularity of stuff like Crossfire and 3-4 Odd and whatnot. So I'd be interested to hear uh, what you guys have found out of those formations. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.